performance by the team tonight? Um, I think you obviously want better uh, to start. Um, you know, special teams I thought were good. Um, but you when know, you give a team like that on-man rushes and you know, chances against like tonight, they're going to make it back. Morgan, how would you describe the emotions of the night when it started with the mm -hmm. ovation for Warrior and that sort of thing? Yeah, obviously that was uh, I mean, a pretty special moment uh, to have him back in the building. Um, um, as a D-man playing for this team, um, his name is one that I really admired and he's a person that I really look up to. And, um, so to have him in the building tonight was special and um, I thought they did a good job. And also the the other element of it was he is always special and that's a cool part of him playing here um, on November 11th. Um, so um, uh, you know, in all around enjoyable uh, experience. And, um, again, it's always a it's always a good production. Yeah. You won the World Cup delayed at least another year. Just for your reaction to that. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really know about, a whole lot about it honestly. Um, so it's just a matter of. Uh, you know, players want that opportunity to compete against one another, play for your country. Hopefully, hopefully that opportunity comes at some point. There's a disappointment level because there has not been a best on best in, in so long from basically a lot of this generation. Yeah, yeah. I think obviously hockey fans everywhere feel that. Players feel that. Um, so as as a, as a PA, as a as a group of individuals, obviously people are going to work hard to try to make that happen for a number of different reasons. Sounds like Matt Murray is, is pretty close. If it's not tomorrow soon, what will that mean to the group to get Murray back? Yeah, it'd be big, obviously. Um, you know, he was playing well for us. He's been working hard to get back. So, you know, we'll look forward to that. And if it's not tomorrow, then our group still has to come out here and play. And um, it's an important game for us. What have you learned about Keith Petrozelli since he's been here, I guess, less than a week now? Uh, he's been good. I think he's just enjoying it. And, you know, it's it, it's our job to make him feel comfortable. But he's been doing a great job for us in practice. And, you know, he's always ready. So, um, you know, it is what it is. If, if, if he's in tomorrow, um, I mean, our, our group's confident. If it's Shally, if it's Murr, if it's, you know, whatever, we'll, uh, we'll be ready to play. Your take on the game? Um, kind of ups and downs. I think we had some sustained, sustained pressure in the offensive zone, but um, we also gave up way too much. Um, Pittsburgh's a team you got to be patient against because you're going to play a lot of D zone, but um, I think if you can keep them to the outside, uh, we didn't do a good job with that, but if you keep them to the outside, they're going to get frustrated and, and take some chances, and that's when you, you got to strike and uh, take advantage of those opportunities. But I don't think we did a good job with that tonight. You know Malkin pretty well. He seemed pretty fired up about the penalties when he gets in that mood. How hard is he to kind of contain? Yeah, um, I think he's one of the best at skating the puck in the neutral zone. Um, winds the puck up, and it seems like it's on a string. Um, but it is it is kind of funny hearing his banter when he gets a penalty. It. You're back to back. Uh, how do you recruit for tomorrow? Um, good night of sleep. Um, I'm sure we'll come in and do some video, but um, you know we have these guys three, uh, two more times this month. But um, we're gonna turn the page and focus on tomorrow and just try to play a more consistent game. How do you like with the way your line is, is working though? Lately? Um, I think we just have a good balance. Um, you know, Camper's really good with two-way Simon and. Responsible defensively, I think Moggy's that offensive spark that we needed. Um, loves to shoot the puck, always getting in, in a shooting position. And um, lately, I've just been trying to get to the net. Um, that's what happened on the goal today. How would you sum up the night overall for you against these guys for the first time? Um, I think I was pretty fired up. I just tried to play a simple game, get get in on the four check. Um, tried to have a few hits. I didn't want to kill kill them too much. You know, guys I played with for that long, but just. Um, yeah, try to play a simple game. I thought it was pretty effective. Was there a weird moment or an awkward moment like you thought there might be? Uh, no, it's just, just awkward. It's kind of yeah. like going to dinner with your ex-girlfriend or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'd sum the night up. But uh, just your take on the game and uh, how you guys played. Uh, I think uh, they were better in the first, and then uh, we kind of uh, took over the game. Uh, yeah, decided to win that one. Would you see on the third goal? Yeah, he uh, kind of uh, shoots Brown RD a little bit. I see it late and uh, yeah, goes in. Got to save that one. You seem like uh, you seem very down right now. Obviously, that's just because of the loss. Or, uh... Yeah. 
Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's just not good enough. I mean, it's just not good enough. So, um, yeah, feel bad for the for the team. It's gotta be uh, making that save, and we have a good chance of winning the game. Any I sense why it was a little odd for you tonight? Uh, I don't know. Um, I didn't feel uh, t too off. It was just that one uh, one situation where they score, and uh, uh, it's obviously, like I said, not good enough. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. It's not uh, not what I wanted for uh, for the team tonight. How do you reset before your next start? Uh, you just gotta um, look at this game and learn to um, make sure it uh, doesn't happen again. One tonight. Uh, I think uh, we didn't come out good in the beginning of the first period, and I mean, we were lucky to have a one-one game. And then I think a couple turnovers. Their goal made a couple of saves, but uh, I don't think we were playing our uh, best hockey. So look forward to tomorrow to uh, redeem ourselves. Eric was very, very hard on himself just a few minutes ago. What do you say to a young boy like that after a game like this? I think he's been playing really well, so I think he should keep his head up and uh, we got to be better in front of him. I saw you uh, really applauding Gloria Salmigo. What was going through your mind when you saw him? Yeah, I was very emotional. Like He, uh, he was very nice to me whenever I uh, spoke to him uh, when I first got to, uh, to Toronto and whenever I saw him. So uh, that's obviously very, very hard to see. Was there any free to see uh, the Sabines and the game of one year ago all this weekend? Yeah, obviously that's uh, it's very fun to see uh, the Swedes come into the Hall of Fame. I mean, they've had amazing careers and uh, guys that I uh, up to when, uh, when I was younger. And uh, yeah, it was nice to uh, see them out there. How, how would you describe what Borea means to the country Sweden? I mean, obviously he was the first uh, first guy to uh, make his way over. And, uh, I mean, made the way with his toughness and uh, and being a leader. So, um, I mean, he represents uh, a lot of Swedes and has done a tremendous job. And uh, it's just so sad seeing uh, seeing him go through what he's going through. Rasmus told us today that when he got drafted, Gorian he took him out for lunch. Did he do something similar to you? Yeah, I've seen him uh, a few times. That actually, I remember he was. Uh, I was uh, out in Stockholm one night and he was also out, so uh, we had a few drinks together. So that was uh, a special moment that I'll actually uh, always remember. Did, did your dad know him well? Yeah, he, I mean, he knew him, yeah, but I don't know how much they, uh, they spoke. When you saw him that night, did he approach you or did, did you approach him? Oh, we both kind of just uh, ran into each other and then uh, we just hung out the rest of the night. With his, uh, switching gears to the World Cup, pushback, back, so 2025, just, just your thoughts on that? Best on best, you know, another 12 months at least. Look, like, yeah, that's fun to, to be a part of that, but that's not where my focus is right now. It's on this season, and I mean, when that happens, that happens. You take that then, and uh, we just got to be uh, forward to tomorrow to, uh, like I said, redeem ourselves and uh, have a better game tomorrow. What has to change tomorrow? Really? What's at the top of the list? I think we just got to, I mean, play our game and, I mean, get Fox behind him and win battles. I think that's uh, one of the difference makers. Sheldon, that obviously not the result you wanted. Good parts of that game. What do you think that happened? Yeah, you know, I, I, th I thought we had some really good portions of the second period that were good. I, I thought, you know, some of the first period was was okay, not not as, not nearly as good as as we would expect. Um, yeah, we're up one nothing. We're in a we're in a good spot there. We get a great goal, you know, by Aston Reese, gives us the lead. And then it was really disappointed how he how we closed out that period to give them one back, um, you know. But uh, liked our second period. You know, I thought we were in a in a pretty good place. Special teams came through for us there, and uh, got down in the third. And I thought it was a clinic by the Pittsburgh Penguins in terms of how they they defended, it made it hard. We were on the on the wall a lot, but but uh, couldn't find our way through that. So that's really the difference in the game. Eric was really hard on himself a few minutes ago. What do you say to Well, I mean, I thought he played well tonight. I mean, he's been playing really well for us, so shake that one off and you know, feel good about how you've been playing, giving your team a chance to win.
anything clearer yet on Murray for tomorrow? Yeah, Murray won't play tomorrow. In fact, we made that decision a couple of days ago that he he wasn't he wasn't going to be going this weekend. But uh, so you know, well, in terms of who will go tomorrow, we're gonna we're gonna make that decision in the morning. What was your perspective on the ceremony before the game? The emotions in the building? Yeah, I thought I mean, it certainly was emotional for sure. Um, I just love the response by our fans, not surprisingly, but uh, you know, it's a special special moment. I mean, it's to well, all the Hall of Famers, first of all, being out there and having their moment, but uh, obviously Borja Salming's moment in particular with the fans' response and, you know, with uh, uh, Daryl and Matt's by his side, I thought that was a pretty special moment and, and symbolic at the same time. Where are you at with the five-on-five five scoring? Do, do you feel like it's just going to come and there's been some bad luck, or are there things you need to do to generate more time? Yeah, we need. There's, there's definitely things we need to do to generate more. Such as? I, I mean, I, I think there's a lot of things. It, it is. <clears throat> to me, it goes back again to just how connected we can be and how we can manage the puck and how we can get on top of teams. You know, that's that's really what we need to do a, little, a better job of. You know, we're end, sequences are ending too quickly, and. <clears throat> We're, we're at our best when we get second, third, fourth opportunities um, to play on offense, and we haven't had enough of those as a team. Partially, be you know, just managing the puck uh, needs to be better. I think that was the biggest factor in the game here today, is we didn't manage it well enough. This is your fourth back-to-back or something. You seem to have a lot of the the part of the season. What do you do to regroup for tomorrow? Yeah, you just you get a meal, go home, get to sleep, and come back and. They're ready to get back at it, and that's truly really it. You know, we have had we have had a number of them here, but you know, we should have that routine down pretty good. Was the ice an issue at all tonight? It just passing was a problem. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I didn't, I didn't hear much from the players. I'm not out there, obviously, but I didn't hear the players talking about that too much. You don't have a lot of options. I know but you've been participating in the lineup changes before, right? We'll talk about it. Yeah, again, we don't we don't have a, we don't have a. We we'll have a great deal of options um, at this point. Marley's are out on the road too, and, and that. But um, we'll talk about it here tonight or in the morning, and kind of get that sorted. We got to see. Anytime it's a back-to-back, you got to kind of see how guys wake up and how they're feeling, and and make a decision. You know, once you know exactly who's available.